Now that that's settled, yeah. we can get to finding a healer. Yeah. That would be good. about Baldur's Gate. The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarian. A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. You must be eager to get back, then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. Then something's waiting up ahead. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. We kill you, and I keep your ears to remember the occasion. You look good with a few ears sticking out of your gut. Death's close at hand. your ears to my
Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Looks like we got ourselves a trespasser. Don't bother running. My archer's got decent aim and plenty of arrows. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. Here's what I'm thinking. We kill you, and I keep your ears to remember the occasion. Dead goblins. Were they heading Dead to travels. the Druid's Grove? Chance I'll fit in there. Not a chance I'll fit in there. You see a name etched into the leather. 
scratch. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. He whines, but remains rooted by the corpse's side. Something's waiting up ahead. Get over there! Surround them like! Oi! You just walked into the wrong town! Don't bother running! My archer's got decent aim and plenty of arrows. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh and something within you stares in response. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the druid's grove?
Well, well, boys. Looks like we got ourselves a trespasser. Don't bother running. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. You'll get no more trouble from us. Promise! Look what we got here! Another little birdie wanting to fly! Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm! And you! Hope you got a stomach for rights! What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Cause it makes me laugh. <laughs> Looking for company, maggot? Not unless you want to join him up there. <laughs> How about this? You pay a toll and go on as you like, or else you fly. Cough it up! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. to be cheap. gone and spoiled the fun. I like it better when they got some fight in them. Clear off and don't come back. Tell your mummy how the nasty goblins made you wet your britches.
could have been avoided, but now you've made it inevitable. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarian? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. You must be eager to get back, then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. Well, well, boys. Let's up. Don't bother! A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. You're a true soul! But by mistake, sir! A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. You'll get no more trouble from us. Promise! seen that game in years. Now you 
used to him with my bare hands. Ahead. A war drum. One of those can summon fighters fu Look it, Claw! Sapper's here! Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. trying to scramble me brains.
big claw. Sap is here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Fake sight. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Celebrating a raid, we are. You need to wear our war colours. Nice to have her this across the mug. Ought to do it. bit of war paint will put you in your place. Go on. Don't skimp, neither. I'll do it. Just give me a moment, sir. Absolute preserve me up. It's still warm. It's gone. Are we done? No, might be he's a prisoner down in the pits. If this is the state of their camp, how bad must the pits be? Both? We're having a party. We're celebrating a raid. Set Joaquin's rest ablaze. Caught ourselves a duke and all. No more for me. On you go. Stop fidgeting. Can't call fleas from the bloody walls. More likely you gave them fleas, you filthy bugger. Blessed me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hear my voice. Obey my command. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. I don't know what that toy of hers is, but I'm glad it's on our side. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you any more. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It's our code, our creed, our shield. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind.
talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed to have caught the attention of so many, not least the Absolute itself. The three figures in the vision, the Chosen, are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. And you still do not know what it even is. I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. Well met, I am Raphael, very much at your service. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest, and the famished come to feed, lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Call it a... Ninth sense. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially, an adversary, conceivably, but a savior, that's for certain. Come now, 
Why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpoled head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Yes, I like it when my clients put up a fight. Only to realize victory was never an option. Try to cure yourself, shop around, beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I'll be around watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out.